I'm Bruce Sainholtz. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I was here for about six months. I started in January and ended in July. It was a total of 24 weeks. I wanted to come here because I knew it was a great program and that long term of a stay would really help me deal with a lot of the food issues and things I had to deal with and I needed dressed and you can't really address those things in a short period of time so that's that was the main thrust of me doing it. I was lucky in the fact that I was able to have the time to do it and it all just kind of fell into place and I'm really happy it did. Uh, changes along the way, I mean, when you're here as long as I was, there's a lot that you see. Started here, I couldn't hike. Osteoarthritis in both knees, so I was really just on certain machines in the gym and those would progress. So I'd be able to get to the, the exercise bike. Then, you know, eventually to the treadmill for a little bit, then longer and longer. I also was able to hike longer and longer. You know, every every week I'd notice some little increment and it was extremely encouraging. I'd be walking, you know, getting ready in the morning and just catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and you'd go, hey, I've lost a little weight. <laughs> it's a good way to start the day or end the day. You know, there's all kinds of th little things that add up to a really big, big change. And then when you look back on it after such a long period, it's such a just amazing thing. So it wasn't my idea to do this uh, half marathon. It um, came about because I was here for a very long time. So in around week, I don't know, 11, I started to get bored. It started to get a little tedious, and Esra, the life coach, suggested I might want to try something to focus on. And she thought maybe a half marathon or a 10K. I said, okay, that sounds like an idea I'll consider. And the next day, Kayla came to me and said, so I hear you're trying a half marathon, which... I thought we were still in the consideration stage, but we'd apparently moved past that. So just kind of like, okay, let's give it a shot. So I had 12 weeks to prepare and they put a training schedule together. I was able to pick one that was really conveniently located to the resort. Uh, because of that, I was able to talk a bunch of the people into the resort into doing it with me, which was great, made it so much more fun, really held me accountable. You know, if it was just me alone, well, I can maybe not show up, but if there's a bunch of people there that, that are gonna be doing it with me, kind of have to go. It was really, really an enjo amazingly enjoyable experience and an enjoyment I wasn't really expecting. Um, as far as my results go, I lost a lot of weight, but I didn't actually weigh out on my final day. And the reason was I didn't want to make the whole thing about a number and I kind of felt like that's what it would do. I've lost about 90 pounds, uh, give or take, but I haven't, I don't know the official number and, and that's why. But when it comes to results, I look at what I can do now versus what I can do before I go. Before I came here, um, right before, I went on a vacation with some friends beforehand for New Year's Eve down in Key West uh, to kind of a final last blowout, so to speak. And everyone decided to go jet ski. We all went out, we were all getting ready to jet ski and I didn't, couldn't go because I could not get up on the jet ski. I didn't have the strength to get myself up on the jet ski. It was kind of heartbreaking. You know, everybody else was going to get, get to go jet skiing, and I couldn't. And I wasn't really, you know, if they stay back, I feel bad because they're staying back. And if they go, well, I feel bad because I can't go. You know, flash forward six months, and I just walked a half marathon. I mean, that's all the results I have. Um, for those of you uh, watching, yeah, I know where you, what you're going through right now. I've been in the same place. I guess my advice is surround yourself with positive people. Put yourself in a positive environment. Wonderful things can happen from that. If you think of your goal and think of where you want to be, just plan out how to get there and find what you need to do it and put those things in place, you'll make some really amazing changes.